If you're looking for a quick breakfast or snack smoothie, you've got to try this vegan and dairy-free sweet potato pie smoothie recipe. It's a delicious and nutritious recipe that is dairy-free, gluten-free, and vegan with only six ingredients. This healthy smoothie is loaded with beta-carotene, fiber, antioxidants, and healthy fats. Best of all, it tastes like a sweet potato pie. Hi everyone and welcome back to Clean Eating Kitchen. I'm Carrie, and this is my channel where I believe that it's really possible to make healthy foods taste delicious. So if you're looking for simple recipes that use real food ingredients that help you feel your best, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you're alerted whenever I upload a new video. So you guys really seem to enjoy my smoothie recipes and I love that you love smoothie recipes because I make one every single day. And so I'm always looking to make some creative flavors and combinations. So today's recipe is super simple. We only have six ingredients and we are going to start with one cup of plant milk. Now you can use any kind of plant milk or dairy-free milk that you like. I'm actually using oat milk today and you can use almond milk if you wanna make this recipe paleo. Then of course, we're going to add one cooked sweet potato. This is kind of a medium, to, small to medium size sweet potato. Um, you can easily double this recipe if you wanted to use a large sweet potato, but as you can see, this one is not too big and the flesh yields about a half of a cup of sweet potato flesh. Now I've cooked and cooled it, and so we're just going to add it right into the blender. And I also wanted to mention that I do have a video for Instant Pot Sweet Potatoes. It is the easiest way to make sweet potatoes. And I will link that uh, right up here, I think. <laughs> now we have to sweeten up our smoothie recipe. And I always like to use whole food sweeteners when I can. So I am using two pitted medjool dates. You could also use maple syrup if you don't have dates on hand. So we wanna add some flavors that are so important to the sweet potato pie. And I just have about a half of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And then to really make this thick and creamy like a smoothie, we're gonna add some frozen banana. I have about one and a half frozen bananas. And if you don't like bananas, you could also use, fro you could also use frozen mango because that will also add uh, thickness and creaminess and a little bit of extra sweetness too. And then to add those healthy fats, which are so important in a smoothie, it makes it a smoothie satiating and healthy fats even help your body absorb nutrition. I'm using a tablespoon of sunflower seed butter, which is kind of an underused seed butter if you ask me. It kind of tastes like peanut butter, but if you have a nut allergy, you should really try sunflower seed butter, or if you, um, I actually have a sensitivity to peanuts, I found out, which is a huge bummer, but sunflower seed butter has been a good alternative. And of course you could use peanut butter, you could use almond butter, but we do wanna add some healthy fats into this smoothie. I also wanted to mention that if you wanted to make this even more nutritious, you could add in a handful of baby spinach or a little bit of frozen rice cauliflower. And also if you wanna make it a meal replacement, you might wanna add a scoop of unsweetened protein powder. And of course, I'm using my Vitamix Explorian here today. You can also use a Blendtec, but I really recommend using a high-speed blender because you're gonna see it pretty much in 30 seconds or less will get the ingredients really smooth and creamy. So let's go ahead and blend it up. So it really only took about 40 seconds for this to get smooth and creamy. And let's go ahead and serve it in our serving glass. So let's give it a taste. I know we've talked about this before, but I am the kind of person that drinks smoothies even when it's cold outside. I just find them so satisfying. So I drink them all throughout the year. Mm. Well, this is really sweet. It is just the perfect consistency. I love the flavor. It does taste like a sweet potato pie. I hope that you love this recipe too. I'm gonna to link to some of my other dairy-free smoothie recipes as well as my pumpkin pie smoothie recipe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.